Hey everybody, this is Joe, a.k.a. Eldritch Omen, and what I have for you today is a little different than what we're used to. Uh, of course, normally we do Star Wars stuff with Card Trader or Physical Rebels cards, but I've just started getting back into Magic, and today is the day the new Origins set released. So I thought, uh, why not grab one of these Deck Builders Toolkits? I haven't seen many people doing a little uh, pack opening for these. And uh, we'll open it up, and you guys can get a look at what's inside. It's never been a better time to uh, try out Magic with the brand new set, uh, the final base set, as I understand, launching today. So we'll take a little look at what's in here, and then uh, after that, if that's not enough for you, I've got a number of boosters. I know there's a couple in the box already, but I might make a second video with some of those. <clears throat> so without too much goofing off here, let's get right into it. Uh, you guys may or may not know, Bill, my co-host, is a big, big Magic fan. And I used to play a long time ago. Well, we got this cool card box here. And I, I'm just starting to get back into it. Uh, I managed to get my, my wife interested in playing the game. So I figured, why not grab one of these deck builder tool kits so I can sort of, you know, build up my collection. It's just an empty thing here. And we'll take a look at what all we've got in here. So, uh, we have another Origins Booster. Uh, Fate Reforged, Dragons of Tarkir, and Journey into Nyx. That's pretty cool. We'll take a look at those in a few minutes. Uh, we've got the Rules Reference card. That's pretty, pretty standard stuff there. This here, let's take a look. Ah, this is a little tips for uh, making yourself a deck. I like that. This is the since it's the deck builder's toolkit. They're giving you what you need to make a couple of decks, and uh, teaching you the the basic idea behind deck making. Now we've got a hundred basic lands in here. I'm a little disappointed that these aren't full art lands. Uh, if you don't know what those are, if you've played a little Magic but have been gone for a while, look up Full Art Lands. I didn't know what they were either, uh, but uh, looking them up, they're actually really cool, and I'm a little disappointed they didn't go back to those. So yeah, that's just your basic land pack. It's a pack of 100 basic lands there. And then let's see. Okay, so we've got the rest of the cards are 125, they call them semi-random cards. Uh, let's just start cracking them open. I'm not going to go through and read off everything, but I'll just kind of scroll through them slowly <coughs> and maybe make a comment here and there. Uh, I'm by no means an expert anymore about uh, what's up with these cards or anything, but I'll just slowly kind of scroll through. These are uh, some of the uncommons right here. Back to regular commons. I can't tell if these are going to be in any sort of particular order. But in case you don't know, the um, this is the rarity symbol here. Black is common. Silver is uncommon. Then you've got gold is rare. I think there's probably a couple of rares in here. Like this is an uncommon. That's your silver symbol there. And uh, you've got a... I think it's a red symbol for a mythic rare, which is... I don't expect to be seeing um, any mythics today. Though I certainly wouldn't be against it. Some of the art on these are just so cool. If you've never played Magic, you could almost collect these. If you're just into collecting, I honestly think that the art on some of these is so cool <laughs> that you might just collect the cards for the... I mean, look at this. It's disgusting, but it's awesome. Some of the best fantasy art you're going to find. I've seen, seen a couple of these evolving wilds. Human monk. I missed out on this whole set with the, um, like the sort of monks and stuff, and I wish I hadn't because that sort of. Eastern flavor is really my favorite thing. But I'm glad that uh, they're still in here. These must be from the the Tarkir sets, I assume. Student of Ojutai. 
yeah, a pretty good mix of uh, stuff there. <clears throat> Bloodfell Caves. That's a nice uh, land that gives you two different types of uh, mana there, or a choice between. Looks like there's a couple of these. Yeah, lots of these dual lands. I like that. That's kind of neat. You uh, would be embarrassed for me if you knew how excited I am just to sort these cards out. I'm really looking forward to it. Wow, this, that is a lot of non-basic lands there. And these are just more of the 100 land pack right here. We can set those aside with the other lands over there. There's something about <coughs> opening... Uh, Packs of magic cards, isn't there? Or just any cards at all, but magic is, was such a huge thing for me as a kid. Oh, here we've got a rare Mamoti Jin. A rare blue. Oh, that was a, a rare white there. Here, let me get to, get these so you can see them on the camera here. That's a rare white, rare blue. Got the rare Nightmare, Blair Black, Chiffon Dragon, rare green Terra Stomper. So it looks like we've got a rare of every color. That's kind of cool. Just specifically one for each. And then these are some uh, uncommons here. We've got the white. Looks like oh, now we're back into just commons for white. But I wonder if these will be sorted out by color. Yep, and then we're into the blue uncommon, so there'll be a couple of these, it looks like. Yeah, and then just back down to the common blues. This is one, I feel like the art on this is so... Oh, sorry about that, the video screwed up there. The art on this is so unnerving. <laughs> I like it a lot, but it is just bizarre. Sangir Vampire. I had just remarked to Bill that I remember the Sangir Vampire from a long, long time ago. Some of these are things you find in the, um, the new player welcome kit, which you can actually get just totally free at uh, almost any place where they sell magic cards, probably, but you'll want to hit up like a comic store or your local game store probably to have the best chance of them just sitting on a couple. If you've never played before, it's a good way to get into it. I grabbed one just to see if my wife would be into it uh, about a week ago, and uh, she actually was, which was a huge surprise to me anyway, but it was a nice little set. I mean, there's nothing crazy amazing in there that you're going to really be excited that you're getting for free or anything, but I mean, if you want to just try the game out, that's a great way to go about doing it. So, that is our set. That's everything that comes in there for the semi-random uh, cards. We've got that. We've got all of the lands here. That is, this is quite a stack of lands there. That's a hundred basic and not a, no small number of non-basic uh, Sort of dual lands there. More of the 125 semi-random cards here. And then you get the nice box, of course. Card box. If you don't have anywhere to store your cards already, that's kind of nice. And then, of course, it comes with the four boosters. It comes with one Origins booster and then one of these three. Now, I'm going to crack these three on this vid, and then I'll save all the Origins boosters for a second video. So... I don't know which order these came out in, even. So I'm just going to start right here. And let's hope for something amazing. And Lightning Diadem. Lagona Band Trailblazer. 
Market Festival. Rotted Hulk. That's a cool looking creature. Elemental. Hubris. Desecration Plague. Starfall. Cast into Darkness. Yeah, I don't really need to read off every single one, but... Okay, into the Uncommons. Armory of Eros. It's a guess uh, to the pronunciation there. Uh, Whitewater Naiads. It's an enchantment creature nymph. Constellation is a thing I've never even heard of, so that'll be interesting. Agent of Erebos. Black is such a... I just love black cards, I don't know why. Master of the Feast is my rare enchantment creature demon. So flies got flying at the beginning of your upkeep. Each opponent draws a card, so that could be interesting. And we've got our just basic forest there. All right, so now let's do Fate Reforged. Uncommons, Huge Stone Retainers, Renowned Weaponsmith, Mistfire Adept, Warden of the First Tree is the rare. It's got a bunch of interesting little powers there. Oh, and then another uh, Thornwood Falls, a dual land. It's kind of neat. Set that aside. And the final pack for this video here is uh, Dragons of Tarkir. Learn from the past. Warbringer. Stormrider Rig. And a Crater Elemental. Check out the art on that. <laughs> that is awesome. And then we've got a mountain. Alright, so that is it for that. Uh, it does come with one more booster, an Origins booster. As I said, I'll save that for the next video. But uh, I picked this set up at my local comic store for just 19 bucks. Includes 285 cards. 100 of those you saw were lands. It's got the four boosters in there. 125 of just the random, semi-random cards for your deck building. Uh, and then we've got the, the paperwork to teach you how to build your own decks if you've never done that before. So for 19 bucks, I feel like this is a nice little way to kick off your collection. Uh, if you want to get into it, just hit up your, your local game store, or you can find these even at Target or Walmart or places like that if you want. But uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, have fun.